Hi guys, I'm here to open a new doll, a new release from Paradise Galleries. And without further ado, let's get into this box. So, I'll take out her COA. And she is, I'll give you a quick peek first, see if you can guess. Hmm, a lot of, a lot of sparkly in there. She's a mermaid, but she's not the first mermaid they had. She is the new Pearl Little Mermaid by, I can never say this artist's name, Fiorenza. Beyond Cherry or something like that. She just made the Pixie Girl and then she made this mermaid and I was talking to Paradise Galleries. I said I hope she makes something mystical like a unicorn baby or something. And so she is number 104. I ordered her right away. She's been here like two weeks. Yes, I haven't opened her. So she's got Accessories. I'm going to untie her and then we're going to do the rest of the opening on the table so we can all see her. Okay. There's some foam down there. Alright. Okay. So we're going to move her COA over there. So firstly she comes with this beautiful sateen big pillow it looks like a seashell and they have i noticed on their accessories on the new dolls like the k-pop one they have their paradise galleries little birdie on the edge there so we're going to put her little pillow here i put this pretty blanket down oh she's so wood oh okay they got a big bag over here oh yeah over here over her i'm gonna take that off Oh my goodness. So she has this sequined, but it's soft, it's not rough, tail. And you can bend, her tail has like an armature thing in there. So you can bend it up or whichever way you want. Okay, let's get to her tiny little arms. She feels like she's small. Oh, she has a little tiny little pearl, oops, pearl bracelet. Feels like she is tinier than she's a lot more delicate, like petite wise, than the pixie girl. Come on, paper. Get off paper. Oh, it's like it's taped right at the top. I'm trying to get all that. Sometimes this paper is hard to get off. So here's her first hand, and her nails aren't tipped, but they're, they are, well, actually they are delicately, but she's squishier. She's very soft in her fingers, but then it goes a little firmer. So let's see, can we move, yeah, we can move her arms up and down. It's a little tough to move them, but they're jointed. Let's get your other hand unwrapped. See, at least we don't have to unwrap my legs, because I don't have legs. I'm a mermaid. Come on. Oh my goodness, this is so tedious to unwrap this tissue paper. But I don't want to, you know, do it ahead of time and peek. And I don't edit, so you guys see it live as I do it, so. All right. <clears throat> So her other accessory, I think it's so cute they wanted to keep it in shape. Sorry for the crinkling guys. Comes in a bag. And it's on a wad of tissue paper. It's her, oh my goodness, it's like a starched linen. And it's Velcro. Or no, it's stretchy in the back. It's a starched, like very stiff starched like ribbon and has 
three little pearls here and one each end so five little pearls that's her crown so they did that to keep it in shape that's a pretty good idea put it separately so let's put her little pearl bracelet back on now the best part her face and her hair you're not gonna believe this little girl's hair oh my goodness it is unbelievable Okay, I got the hair and I got caught on the end because on the end of her beautiful long braid is a little ribbon and another little pearl. So her hair is all braided beautifully like a French braid. And then on this side, when I was speaking to Parrot Guy Scalaries on the phone today, I mentioned to them, oh, it looks like her wig isn't right on this side. This right here the applique gets tacky and the hair is stuck in it. Do you see that? But part of that flower is missing. A little piece right there. And her hair is not, her wig is not, they didn't put it down evenly. It's not glued. But that's fine. Oh, her hair is very smooth. I don't think I'd ever take it out. So let's look at her beautiful face, but let's put her crown on. So let's put my crown on, because I am the crown jewel. Oh, that fits perfectly. And then on her body, right here, she has embossed a little um, seashell, and she has a little pearl in there. So, I mean, compared to my hands, she is very tiny little petite. It's got a little open mouth, beautiful big lashes. So let's lay her on her, oops, we just lost our background. Want to lay her on her pillow and she knocked down our background. Let me fix this blanket back up. This pretty floral blanket. I got a couple weeks ago, I really love it. It's pretty. It's really soft and the colors okay maybe I should have. I didn't want to use white because her pillow is white so I wanted her to stand out so you can like I said you can move her arms up and down but it's a little stiff to move them you can there's an armature so you can move her tail up you know I don't know if you can move it to the side to side yeah you can feel there's like a yeah, so you can move it to the side. She says, you're telling whales of a tail. If I had both hands free, I'm trying to hold the camera off, off the, on the tripod up in there. I don't know how stiff it is to turn her neck. But she is squishy. But this is very tacky. And they said it used a little bit of powder on it. On the Pixie Grill it was too. So I thought it was painted on. They are only like a applique. So here she's she's got her thumb and pointer finger together. This hand is open, but her hands are very soft. I mean very flexy. But oops. There she is. The uh, I was say the little mermaid, but she is Pearl Little Mermaid. They have another mermaid doll, but it's bigger. But I like this ladies because I just like them as a like a collector piece. This one in Pixie Girl, I would never undress and redress or anything like that. <clears throat> They're just a collector piece. So, I mean, I wouldn't get these for children. Definitely, that paint would be gone. The applique thing would be gone all that. I mean, an older child that wants to collect it, maybe, like, so I'd look at these at the same that you would a porcelain doll, you know, it's to be admired and not, like, hands-on play. So, with that said, I hope you liked this box opening, and like, comment, and subscribe, and by the way, when we get to a thousand, I'm doing a giveaway. We're only a few away, and with that said, Dolly hugs.